Hey pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. We are quickly approaching the end of January, our first month into 2020, so it's time to round up our stationary favorites for the month. I'll warn you guys right up front that all of my favorites today are going to be writing implements, but to kick things off, I wanted to talk about my Kaveco Sport. This is from their fruit inspired series and it's in the color Pattaya. I have a medium nib on this one and I got it for Christmas, so I've been using it since then and it's become one of my go-to daily writers. I've become quite the fan of these little pocket-sized pens and I foresee my collection of them growing. I of course have this one, I have my rose gold all sport that I've shared in previous videos and then I actually got two more sports for Christmas that I haven't inked up yet just because I've been enjoying this one so much. I love the medium nib and this is something that my pen friend Peter had recommended to me when I was first telling him that I really was interested in Kaveco. We sort of have this inside joke that I know him as the Kaveco guy, which I feel like he's the expert. So I feel pretty confident in recommending him as your source of information in sort of exploring the brand, but just nothing but good things about this pen. It's the perfect little size. It's of course a little bit lighter than my Rose Gold All Sport because that is made of an aluminum body. This is a plastic body. This is the perfect size to throw in your pocket, hence, you know, pocket pen, but it's also great to throw into your backpack or bag. And I've carried it around with me a lot, but I haven't had an excuse to use it when I'm out and about. I mostly use it for my day-to-day -day planning and with my theme right now, I feel like the color that I have it inked up with matches really well. I'm actually using an ink cartridge that Peter sent me and I don't remember the name of it, so I will just pop it in the description box below. I quite like the pairing and I'm not sure that I'll stray from it. This next pen is a clear demonstrator fountain pen and no, it is not my Miniso fountain pen that I seem to talk about a lot on this channel. It's actually the Platinum Preppy and this was sent to me by my pen friend Daniel. So Daniel, thank you for giving me another clear demonstrator fountain pen to just love and adore. I've been using it a lot with my day-to-day -day planning as well as journaling. If any of you have watched my five fountain pens under five dollars video, I would definitely add this to the list. It's a really great starter pen. On the flip side, I feel like a lot of fountain pen enthusiasts still enjoy keeping this pen around because it's so smooth and just such a reliable writer. I feel like that's my theme for fountain pens. It just it has to be reliable. I already had so much hesitation when first getting into the hobby. A lot of my concerns have been debunked or just weren't as you know tragic as I thought they were going to be, but I think if you're first getting into the fountain pen hobby, you can come across some horror stories and that may prevent you from jumping in earlier. It certainly did for me. So all that to say, this is a really great pen. It does come in some other fun colors. I think what they do is they have the clear demonstrator body, but then they have accents to match the ink inside. I think at one point they also made the nib match the color of the ink as well. I'm not sure if they still do that. My next stationary favorite for the month are these mini so highlighters. They're double-ended fluorescent markers. They are dupes for the Zebra Mild Liner, so if you're fans of those or have been wanting to try those, I would recommend giving these a shot if you're looking for something just a tad bit more affordable. I think the color range is very nice, and in particular, I've been using this purple and this periwinkle one. That's how I'm going to describe this more blue toned purple. I've been using these two colors a lot in my planning. Again, it just sort of fits the subdued muted blue theme that I've been going with and this purple has been a nice complement to that as well. If you're unfamiliar with these highlighters, I would recommend checking out the full comparison video that I did a while back. I'll have it linked off in the description box below. They did come in sets of five, so I purchased all three sets. I have not used my Zebra Mild Liners because I've been using these and my Daiso highlighters and I feel like that has been enough for me. 
I don't know if I will continue to feel that way. Maybe I'll change it up and use my Zebra Mild liners at some point. I feel like it wouldn't be a proper video of mine if I failed to mention a mini sew stationery item or a Daiso stationery item, but baby, we've got both today. So I wanted to talk about the Daiso brush pens. I've sort of been hoarding these for a little while now and they were still sitting pretty in their packaging until about a month ago. And I finally opened them up. They are dual ended markers, so they have a chisel tip on the other end, but in particular, the brush side is what does it for me. I think some of you may enjoy the chisel tip if you like doing that sort of gothic style calligraphy. I'm not sure if that's what it's truly called, but that's what I'm gonna call it here. I do wish that they had sort of a bullet style tip like the mini sew highlighters or like my UB brush markers where it's a fine liner. Speaking of, if you've watched my top stationary favorites of 2019, I feel like these are a good alternative to the UB dual ended markers. These are a little bit more affordable and if you don't need such a large brush, then these are a nice step down from that. The soft pink and the yellow came in a set, the magenta and violet color came in a set, and then the green and blue came together in a set. As far as I know, those are the only colors available, but I quite like that it's not overwhelmingly expansive, and who knows, they may expand into other colors but this is what I was able to find at Daiso. I also like that they're a little bit shorter, so they're more alike to a regular size pen, whereas my UB brush markers are not so travel friendly. They are much longer and won't fit in your standard pencil case. So if you're looking for something that you can like take with you on the go, this might be a good option for you. I feel like my favorites video this time around is planner themed because all of these items I've been using in my planner lately. And something else that I've been incorporating a lot into my planner system is the Zig Clean Color Dot Metallic Markers. These were actually sent to me by my pen friend Daniel. So Daniel, if you're watching this, thank you so much. And I don't want to put you on the spot, but I just want to let everyone else know if you're looking for some really strong recommendations in stationery then you should connect with Daniel because I feel like he's shared a lot of great stationery with me so just putting it out there these markers follow the same dual ended theme that we've been talking about where they have the dot n on one side and then a one point millimeter tip on the other I feel like these would make great pens if you're very artsy which I am not. So I've been using them as like little bullet points in my habit tracker as well as marking off the days in my daily planner spreads. It's so satisfying to be able to take the dot side and make a very clean looking circle. And then I'll also use the other side to sort of accent any hand lettering. I think the metallic colors are really beautiful and just as a water-based pigment pen, it's quickly become one of my favorites. What were some of your stationary favorites this past month? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. If you'd like to, you can connect with me over on Instagram. My username is at Devin Liu. That's with two N's and two U's. I do my best to upload here every Thursday evening, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!